Hey everybody, Jillian here for Illustrated Faith's Print and Pray Shop, and today I'm going to be using Brave Little Taylor's new release called Falling for Jesus in the book of Joshua in my interleaved journaling Bible. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet, but I know where I want to journal and what I want to journal about, and for me that's usually the starting off point. So let's Turn to the verse that I want to journal today. It's in Joshua, let me look at my notes, 22, 22, 5. I'm in Judges, gone too far. Here we go. Right here. So I'll go ahead and journal on this beautiful blank page that I can fill with a whole bunch of stuff. So Taylor Set Falling for Jesus is all about loving the Lord with our whole heart. And... Today in my process, I'm going to talk about what that looks like according to what I've been studying in Joshua. So the set was just perfectly timed and I'm excited to get started. So I'm going to cut out the things that I know I want to use and maybe having them on my page will give me an idea of what kind of background I want to put behind it. In her set, Taylor has lots of beautiful um, hand-lettered sentiments and these Fall girls, pumpkins, journaling spots, I love using these, and acorns, and then she has a coordinating patterned paper set uh, also. So I'm going to use those a little bit today probably. Okay, so as you can see here, I have some Neocolor 2 water-soluble crayons, and I have kind of a crazy idea. Um, I hope this turns out cute. <laughs> um, so my plan is because I was so inspired by Taylor's beautiful plaids that she included in some of her patterned papers, was I would try and um, create like a abstract plaid type background or something on my page, not covering the whole page, but in colors that coordinate with the release this month. I'm going to start by just drawing some lines. So I will have the specific colors that I used listed down in the video description box below the video if you guys want to know which specific ones I used, so you can pull them out too if you have them. And I put a piece of cardstock underneath just to have a steady surface to draw on, and I knew that I didn't want to, like I mentioned, cover the whole background. So I figured, okay, I'll try it down in the bottom left corner on a larger scale, and then put a little bit, uh, repeat a little bit of it up in the top right. And so I'm starting with my horizontal lines first. First, I'm going to use like a reddish orange and then a pink really close next to it and then um, to rotate my Bible and then do my vertical lines. So I'm starting with like this ochre color and then I'll bring in some green and then finally finish it off with the aqua. Um, not using a straight edge or anything like that, just freehanding it. So if you wanted to try this out and you don't want the wonky lines, I think if you used a ruler or something like that, that would definitely help. I am planning on taking a paintbrush with water to this to activate some of that pigment. Not all of it because I tried that on a scrap piece of paper and that just leads to brown, <laughs> which is not what I want. So now that I've finished in the bottom left corner, I'll go ahead and do the same up in the top right using the same colors in the same way. And then I figure at this point, if it doesn't turn out, I can always cover it up. That's kind of my mindset when trying something out. If it doesn't work, I can just cover it up. So we'll see how this goes. I have a paintbrush that I've just dipped in water and now I'm going to switch out to my Bible mat underneath my page to protect the pages underneath from the water. And because these are water soluble um, crayons, they react to water. So you'll see here I'm going to zoom in. You can see what happens to the red. I'm just focusing on the red now and dragging my wet paintbrush over the red line. And you can see that kind of makes it a little more red. It activates it and it's more pigmented. So I'm only going to do this for two colors because like I said, I don't want it to turn out brown. So I started with the red and grabbed a little bit of that pink in there and then I'm going over this aqua color line that I drew. I went back over with the aqua neo color one more time because I the, the line that I had originally drawn was pretty faint and I wanted it to be a little more pop. So you can always just add more and then the crayon when you apply it to the water it just kind of melts a little bit. These are really fun um, tools to use. All right, so on the bottom, that's as much as I'm going to play with it. I don't love it, 
but like I said, I could always cover it. So I'm going to do the exact same thing up at the top here, first activating the red line and then this aqua colored line. Now to help speed up the drying process, I'm going to hit this with my heat tool. There's no bleed through, maybe a little bit of shadow, but no bleed through, which is always nice. And then I'm going to start putting elements on my page. So I knew I wanted to use this gal in the bottom right hand corner. And then I wasn't able to entirely fit that original sentiment um, onto my page here. But I definitely wanted to include this bit uh, that says joyful obedience. And that will, I'll add a little bit more for my title here. Um, but even with a whole page in my Bible to create with, I don't, want to cram everything on there. I still like it to have some white space and so that's what I'm going for today. Next I'm going to take this whole sheet of labels and run it through my typewriter to get my journaling down. I recently wrapped up the book of Joshua and in chapter 22 verse 5 Joshua is addressing the two and a half tribes that are east of the Jordan as they're about to head back to their land. He says only be very careful to observe the commandment and the law that Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you to love the Lord your God and to walk in all his ways and to keep his commandments and to cling to him and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. And so when the Taylor set came out last week, which was all about loving God with our whole hearts, and I saw this verse, I was like, this is the set I want to use to document this reminder. Loving God isn't merely a feeling, but it's action oriented. And so my title will say here in a moment, love looks like joyful obedience. Loving God looks like joyful obedience, which is, which is similar to what Taylor had. Um, I'm just switching it up here to fit into Joshua and to be able to add some stamping. So on those labels, I typed up Deuteronomy 6, 5 and 13, 4, where we see the original instance that Joshua is quoting here. Joshua is quoting Moses' words. Well, I typed up Moses' words and put them on those little labels. And I put them there for a reason, so they could kind of tone down that plaid neocolor situation happening down in the bottom corner. So it's peeking out from behind, and I'm going to add a few more elements here, like some pumpkins and acorns and things like that. I'll do the same thing up towards the top, where I'll put some of Taylor's word fetty up there with and some additional acorns also. I'm using the big huge story alpha to stamp out the big word of my title and then I'm looking through some of my Bible study notes here for the actual like handwritten journaling that I will include. And so here my last bit of journaling just says this is how we know we love God we obey his commands. Similar to what Jesus says in John 14 15 if you love me you will keep my commandments. So I'm going to top that off with a date stamp and then I want to add some paint splatters uh, but instead of using my typical watercolors I'm just taking the wet brush to the tip of the neo color and then getting a lot of paint on that brush and then splattering it all over the place. Next I'm going to underline my verse and then run Taylor's patterned paper through my tab punch, add a piece of word fetty, some of the really fun washi tape from the mixed tape devotional kit and that's it. So here are a few finished looks at my project. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. The set Falling for Jesus and the Coordinating Patterned Papers are now available digitally in the Illustrated Faith shop. We'll have those linked for you down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon.